What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next test server session here in War Robots with a brand new robot, Nightingale, in this video. Uh, you see here, two medium, one light weapon. That's what this thing has, and its ability is extremely interesting. It will have uh, flying with stealth and suppressing the enemy and healing friends. All that within one robot's flying ability. That's gonna be interesting, ladies and gentlemen, so let's use this. And while this is still taking a little while, I also released today my brand new video on the Paramotor channel where I had zero wind starts. Starting at zero wind is the most difficult starting, and it was filmed by a drone with the auto tracking system, guys. And then also the landing. Go ahead, check out the video in the upper right corner, guys. I promise you, you're gonna enjoy that video a lot. Uh, so let's go into this. As I said, in the upper right, if you have a moment to spare afterwards, or maybe so, then uh, check out this video, guys. It's been released at the same time as this one here goes live. So both videos right now are brand new. And, um, yeah. So let's run in, test the Nightingale. You also see the other robots being tested, Cerberus and, uh, and the Ravana. Um, so we're, we're testing the Nightingale in this video, and I'm gonna make a video for the other ones coming up soon, okay? We're gonna test them all. So, you see we have, this guy currently is taking, is he's losing health, and I'm healing him now. Look at this. Okay, he's having phase shift, so I can't heal. But when he comes out of phase shift, see that? He's receiving healing, and I have a new camera perspective, and I can also suppress with this shot. Pew! Pew! See this red shot that I fire here? Pew! Pew! Now he's suppressed. He's not doing any real damage right now. Uh, and uh, and that's the, the, the abilities that this thing has. It suppresses enemies. Okay, let's get this guy down to last stand. Ah! Uh, we couldn't do it. Oh, now he's at last stand. Nice. Okay. So we have a brand new camera perspective or camera angle uh, that we can have. Oh, someone is behind us. I'm flying. Flying here. Oh, I suppressed this guy, uh, but I can't kill him. Now he's suppressed, though. Oh, it seems like I can actually trigger the landing when I want to. That's interesting, too. You can manually trigger the landing. That's the other robot with its new, um, with its new three seconds of invincibility. Right now, this invincibility looks like face shift. I'm not sure if they're gonna keep it that way, or if this is just because right now there aren't, um, uh, they haven't designed a new effect yet. Um, but you see here, at 600 meters range, we can fire these little suppression shots. Pew! They do also a tiny bit of damage, but it's really so low that you, you won't really be killing anyone with this. It's, it's more... It's more about the suppression. Pew! And it fires automatically as soon as you get in, in range. And this new camera perspective that you have on the flight allows you to see your allies underneath that you can heal and still fly and suppress the enemies with your, with your shots at the same time. Uh-oh, there's a Hellboner coming. Okay, we're, we're in trouble now. Uh, I think he was reloading or something. So I'm flying up now. Suppressing the Hellburner here. Does it work? I hope I did suppress him. And now I'm flying back to try and heal my my friends also. Here I'm staying underneath this guy so he gets healed. This guy's suppressing him. Zip! I killed him! I just killed someone with the ding ability with a with a shot here from the Nightingale. Awesome. And meanwhile, I also healed up the guy but underneath. This is cool! What an what an interesting ability! It, it is a lot to think about, right? Because you have to you have to stay above your teammates to keep them healed. You have to also uh, aim at the enemy to keep them suppressed, as we do right here, flying up. Pew, pew. And you see, the thing is, you can't actually shoot with your weapons. Did you notice that? The weapons are actually hidden at the time. The weapons are are not available uh, when you are flying around. Uh, all your weapons just go away as, you, as soon as you lift up and fly. So we're capturing their beacons here. Uh-oh, we have a tear robot right here in front of us. I'm gonna die now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep, there he goes. But it's cool, because I, uh, I can't spawn up there. I cannot spawn all the way up there because, um, yeah, it turns out this is domination and not, um, what's it called? Come on, tell me. <laughs> a beacon rush, that's right. So I have to literally fly all the way over there, which is really interesting. How did we capture the entire enemy base, though, if we can't even have reinforcements? Ha, <laughs> that's cool. All right, I'm gonna trigger the landing here. I suppressed him with the last shot. 
And uh, now, oh, there it is. Boom, 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 boom. That's the other, the Ravana, I think, that he's using. It has the, um, this three second stealth, uh, 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 this three second invincibility that it can trigger, tw trigger twice in a row. Uh, that we're gonna have a look at this video in a uh, this robot in a separate video Let's suppress this guy He's not gonna do any real damage now. This guy isn't oh he just had had the anti-control But after he comes out of anti-control we have him suppressed anyways Nope now he's face shifting When he comes out of the face shift Nope Can't work no chance but we're firing at him with everything we've got, and we have a team that also helps at doing that, which is cool. And he's face shifting again. It feels like he's face sh shifted so many times now. Are you kidding me? How long does that face shift last? What? Did you see that? That was a face shift of 10 seconds or so. What was that? He was not supposed to t face shift for 10 seconds. And I think we just lost connection or so. <laughs> okay, a lot of stuff's going wrong. Let's jump into one more match, ladies and gentlemen, and just keep testing the uh, the Nightingale. All right, so I'm trying to focus on healing friends, suppressing enemies, you know, and trying to be as useful as humanly possible with this thing, because it is a support robot. It's not, it's not the robot that you use to destroy everyone, right? You're gonna use it to um, to to help. Help friends in need. He's probably gonna fly now. Yep, there it is. I also have stealth. I could also fly. And I might do it just so that he can't kill me here. Or maybe I'm not, because he doesn't seem to be very accurate with his thunder shots. When he lands... Ah, he land. Okay, he's dead. So who took damage? Somebody must have taken damage. Pew! Pew! Okay, the cool thing is that you can also, you can fly over here, suppress him, see that, and then land. After your suppression, you just land, and then you attack him. Like this. We got him down to last stand right before he was able to, uh, uh-oh. So, the, the th interesting thing is he's running a setup that's really fun, because now he's gonna land and has his, um... His thing recharged. And he picked a really good spot for his landing. He picked a very interesting and smart spot for his landing. Where I can't really hit him very effectively here. Okay, now he falls down. Trying to kill him here. But it can't. I can't kill him. Now his shot goes into no man's land because I just stealthed. He also does it. Hey look, it's a duel between the nightingales. Let's suppress this guy and suppress this guy. And try and heal up the other person as well. We're probably gonna get killed now. Uh, okay, he is. So there he is. Finally, the duel continues. <laughs> oh, you're healing up now. Jesus, that it's never gonna end. We're never gonna get finished. All right, finally. Let's finish off this leech robot, one of the most important targets to kill. And then this guy too. Nice. Okay, so. Who am we gonna suppress now? We have a T-Falcon there and he's not taking any damage. He's like, he feels, he's completely invincible it seems. From the upper perspective you see firing uh, of, of other Nightingales. Pew! Pew! <laughs> Pew! I like this sound. Pew. It's so, it like, it, it feels so insignificant this little shot. And that's, it kind of represents what it really does. Like it doesn't do any damage, it just... It just annoys the enemy a little bit and suppresses them, which is the most important part that it suppresses them. You can corner shoot to the left, as you see here, with two out of three weapons. Corner shooting is an option. Why is he still alive? I, so I, when I don't do damage, no one else is? Huh? Weird. Alright, you know what? Let's go over there and heal the falcon. You see this falcon right there? We're gonna heal him. And we're not only healing the Falcon, we're also healing the other guy. And suppressing, of course, also the Ares and this guy. Come on. Come on! Wow, this shield lasts forever. Uh-oh, we're landing. But we're landing in a good position. And you see they couldn't kill that, uh, that, um... 
What's it called? They just couldn't kill the the uh, the falcon there because we kept healing it up. Oh, let's kill the specter. No, he's flying now. Okay. Flying up. We have enough enemies around us. So I'm hoping I'm able to explain to you guys the ability of the uh, of the nightingale. It's uh, it's a bit confusing because it has so many parts that belong to that ability. So many separate little things. Okay, we're gonna land here and then bringing him down to last stand, switching to this guy and trying to kill him from within the shield, switching to the other guy just in time and yeah. Woohoo! And we got healing from the Nightingale, or we're getting healing right now. Ha! And he got locked down just in the moment when he wanted to, um... Ooh, a big rocket just killed me. You could- we could also jump into the, um... But I want to run the thing also with, um, with this. Okay, let's go over there. I have never fired a Vortex at a flying out uh, titan. I'm gonna try and make that happen. But I'm not sure how well we can hit the titan in in the air. Okay, I could try fire at this guy already. Boom! Haha! <laughs> Take that! Let's let's try and do this here too. Ouch! And whoops! Boom! Yup, he missed me with his shot, thankfully. And I can hit him here. And fire! Zoop! And boom! <laughs> hey, this is weird to hit to hit a Titan in the air with Vortex. Okay, that should be it for him. Nope. Okay, that's it for him then. Boom! And boom! The Vortex or whatever went up there. Oha! Uh -huh. Okay, there's uh more stuff shooting me than I want. Fire. Boom. Oh, there's only titans in the air now. And on the ground, of course. And boom. Uh-oh, that hasn't done any real damage. Okay, we have a, an enemy right next to us. I can fly up, suppress. Uh, okay, and then suppress him. Press him again. Okay, we're landing now. And vortex time. Boom. Wow. I don't know how this managed to not do any damage or... I don't know. That was weird. That was supposed to do some good damage there. Okay, he's last standing. Two. One. And fire. Ah, uh, okay. He probably comes out. Yeah, has leech ability back. So my, I think I can help better if I just suppress him here. See, he's now suppressed. He can't do any real damage to the to the other Titan. We are the only Nightingale here now. That's also cool. The others are all running uh, Titans, and I'm gonna stay with them and heal these guys, and suppress the other Titans. That is exact. This is awesome. I'm, I'm I, I love that I'm still in the game because. Um, this is exactly how the Nightingale is played. You are not the guy who, do, who does the damage. You're the guy who suppresses and heals. Which I think makes Vortex and Aphid one of the in most interesting uh, setups to run on that thing, too. So this guy still has good health. I'm trying to observe the healing and the health status of my, uh, my friends here. And they're obliterating this Titan. Ah, this, this guy is the next who needs some help. I'm gonna come in for him. Let's fly over. I'm also hopeful. Hope, oh yeah, I am healing him already, or he was healing himself. I'm not sure. Okay, he is suppressed. He's down to last stand. I'm trying to fly with him here, keeping him healed. Is he still flying? How's that possible? Huh? Ah, he's now landing. Did he just fly twice in a row? Fire, and boom. Cool. Uh-oh, this guy's taking damage. We need to help him. Uh-oh. I hit him a little bit. Oh, he's taking so much damage from all the titans. Uh, 
And I can't hit this guy. He's behind the wall. But now I can. And... Yoohoo! And healing all the titans here. Let's fly over to this guy and heal him. See? It heals 6,000 something HP per second. Per, per second. And that's for 16 seconds. That's almost 100,000 HP that you can heal with a Nightingale. And not just on one guy. Everyone underneath you. So the healing power of this one Nightingale is insane. It can shift a game from losing to winning super quickly with when you manage to heal multiple people full underneath you. That's really cool. And uh, and then suppressing enemies at the same time. Uh, a well-played Nightingale might be a real asset to any team. So, um, very interesting. I'm gonna make videos now for the other robots as well. Uh, but as I said, guys, don't forget, please, in the upper right corner is the video here uh, for the paramotor start by zero, uh, with zero wind, which is uh, quite, cr quite crazy. Filmed with a drone flying. Uh, on this channel right here, Paramotor Money. And also, one more thing, guys. I've just created a BitChute account, which is also where all my videos are going on to right now. At this moment, there is not going to be any ads played on the videos. Not sure how this is going to be in the future, but right now, um, you see right here, this is the new BitChute Money. That's me here. Uh, it's basically an alternative to YouTube. And uh, if you guys have a BitChute account or you don't yet have one, uh, you know, use my referral account in the in the uh, in the pinned comment uh, or in the video description and uh, create yourself a free account on BitChute and uh, subscribe to me also there if you want, because that's another way way of uh, you know having video content uploaded and maybe there is even going to be some other uh, stuff coming on to that as well uh, that we don't yet have in uh, on the YouTubes. Okay, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with you guys. Awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.